So Beehive Cheese got started by a crazy phone call by my brother-in-law. He called me up one day and said, let's quit our jobs and go make cheese. And uh, pretty much that's how the way it happened. Uh, Twelve years later, we're in business and it was a good phone call. So we get our milk from Wadeland South Dairy, about 12 miles west of here. Four generation farmers, mostly Jersey cows, and super fresh, wonderful milk, and it makes great cheese. We make basically two cheeses. We make our Aguiano and we make our Promontory. But our Promontory, we do rub different things on the outside of the cheese, different flavorings, and we end up with about a dozen cheeses. Well, my favorite cheese is tough. Um, Promontory, when it's older, is my, probably my favorite. Our Aguiano, which is our Parmesan type cheese, is super special as well. Cheese making is magical. Um, it's so crazy to watch it go from milk to cheese in about five hours. Um, we start with the milk, um, we pasteurize our milk, we put it in the vat, we add our cultures. The cultures are basically bacteria that eat sugars in milk, which is lactose. And when they make the sugars, they convert those sugars to acid. And the acid drives the pH down and it makes the curd and we want to separate. Then you add rennet, which is an enzyme that breaks down the amino acids and uh, it makes the curd set into a basically a custard style yogurt. As soon as that custard style yogurt is just perfect, we cut it with a harp. Literally, it looks just like a harp. We drag it by hand through the cheese, cut it into quarter inch cubes. Now you've got curd and whey. We stir it, we cook it, we drain the whey. And then what we're left with is a slab of cottage cheese in the bottom of the vat, but it knits together really quickly and it turns into basically a big slab. I cut it with a knife in a manageable strips that are about this wide and about that thick. And then I'll turn those strips over about every 10 minutes for two hours. That's called cheddaring the cheese. And what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the pH to become perfect and I'm also waiting for the moisture to come out consistently out of that cheese. But then I have to slow down the bacteria from making more acid because if they make too much acid it'll ruin my cheese. So in order to slow that down I'll run that slab through a curd mill and make them into curds so I can expose a lot of surface area and then I introduce salt and the salt stops the bacteria from making more acid. And then I, if I'm selling curds I sell them as fresh as I can, warm people call up and say hey and I make fresh cheese curds. Or if I'm going to make a of pressed cheese, I'll take those slabs, I'll take those curds and I'll put them in a cheese hoop, I'll press it, and I end up with a 20 pound roll. It's been really fun that way. So we're just having a lot of fun. Um, we come to work, we make great cheese, and we just do what we say we're going to do, and we just have fun. Of our 20 employees at Beehive Cheese, 12 of them are family, and those that aren't family are adopted family, and we just help each other out. We produced about 400,000 pounds last year, which makes us kind of a small uh, to medium-sized artisan cheese company. There are people that make a lot more, but they're, you know, comparatively speaking, the big companies will make 500,000 pounds of cheese in two days. Our biggest seller is our Barely Buzzed, by far. Um, I was afraid when we first made it, it might end up being a kind of a flash in the pan, but it certainly is not. It's um, become well known throughout the United States, and it's just become kind of an iconic cheese with Beehive Cheese. You can find Beehive Cheese locally in Utah at um, Harmon's Grocery, Smith's, Whole Foods, Liberty Heights Fresh, um, Tony Caputo's. Many, many markets. Uh, the Associated Food Chain has all of our cheeses. 
Um, nationally, you can find it. Um, safe bet is Whole Foods, but there are a lot of independent grocers that carry our cheese, or independent cheese shops as well. We're, we support local. We buy our local milk. We buy our local salt. Um, we have a little teeny retail shop that we support our local friends. And, you know, it all goes around in a circle if we support each other. We're all natural. Um, like I said, the milk is super fresh, super great milk, and we make cheese and don't put any stuff in it and goo, and it's just a beautiful, clean product that people really, really love. Yeah, beehivecheese.com, um, we do sell cheese, and you know, it's actually a really good way to get it, because if you live in South Dakota and there's no local groceries that carry it, it costs like $8 to FedEx Brown a box to South Dakota and it gets there the next day and um, we ship all over the country. We are EU approved. We ship to Germany and Spain and London. Um, our recent trip, um, we were shipping to Singapore and that's actually a fairly growing market for us, which is kind of fun. We ship to Canada, but our, we haven't even really touched the surface in the United States yet, so we're really focusing on that. We make a great product. It's very unique. When we first came out, we barely buzzed in this different rub, Sea Hive, the honey and salt rub. We kind of took the industry by storm because it had really never been done. And they were looking at, it, at us kind of funny, like, what are these crazy guys from Utah doing? But then they tasted the cheese and they said, wow, this is really an amazing cheese. And then they do these stupid things to the outside of the cheese that taste amazing. And so we kind of be, been known as rebels in the industry and um, the bottom line is does it taste good and would I buy it again?